Excuse me, miss, you're slacking off. We need you to shrink some heads for us. Do I have to do everything around here? Oh, do the dishes, take out the trash, shrink some heads. All right, guys, today we are in Paris, Texas. There's apparently an Eiffel Tower around here somewhere. I don't know where. It's probably over by where the Texas Chainsaw Massacre happened. Anyway, there is a Spirit Halloween that we're going to go into, and apparently it used to be a Sears appliance store. That could be wrong, though, because I see that there's an old Sears over there on the other side of the parking lot, and this one does not look like any Sears I've ever seen. But that's not important. The important thing is that we get in here right now before Leatherface shows up and makes us into chili. This is a pretty dang big store though look at this look how long it is they got posters all the way from there all the way down to here and I am hoping that this store is actually that big look there's a Paris Texas sticker on there with the Eiffel Tower okay let's go ahead and yes I will if you don't mind guys this is a pretty huge store here I am loving it already look at this right in the door we have two gigantic deadly creepers and on the other side, a Mr. Punchy and a Bog Zombie. People asked me the other day if I'm going to buy the Bog Zombie this year. And I don't know. I might. I really like him, but Marion doesn't. I could hide him in the basement. <laughs> Would you like a new home in my basement, sir? Anyways, there are more over here, guys. We have a Tombstone of Terror right there. We have a Killer Clowns Inflatable right there on top. Then we have a Shorty on the bottom. I'm seeing more Shorties in the stores. We have another Mr. Punchy over here. Did we see a Punchy over there? Um, yes, on top. We have a Punchy right here. And we have the inflatable Fright in a Box right there. I don't know why in some stores that is already on clearance. And look at all these pops that they have, guys. I so regret not buying the Sanderson Sisters pop where they were standing around the bubbling cauldron. Wait a minute, I'm going to need to grab a basket here. Yeah, one of the other stores that I was in, they had all these, and then they had one of the older one where they're standing around the cauldron. I had it in my basket, and I did not buy it. But I think I will get Danny with Binks today, because I keep passing her up, too. There you go, in your new home. They have lots of Sinister Spirit dolls in here. They have a stuffed dummy prop. And look over here, guys. They have a Secret Keeping Cat inflatable blown up. I have not seen this guy blown up anywhere. Of course, if he is anywhere, he wouldn't tell us because it's a secret. We have Mr. Half a Head Punchy over here. Let's see if we can get him going. Come on, Half a Head. I'm a clown. Oh, come on. Why is it got to be this one? You're a fool. We don't like this Who's one. Going? Down bad words, bad words. Ooh, lots more animatronics on the floor, guys. But let's see over here. We have Shorty. All right, come on, Shorty. Give me what you got. He's got his gloves on. He's got his green stars and his blue shoes. And everybody wants me to say, what are those? Shorty, you are a friendly fella. We have the Tombstone of Terror over here. I don't even, yep, I was just gonna say, I don't even think we have to step on the step pad because he's always on the sensor. We have Mr. Grimm here. Let's see if we can get him going. Come on, Grimmy, come on. Be careful where you tread on this dark night. All right, let's come over here and see the bog zombie quick before we go inside. He doesn't even have a... Oh, you don't need a foot pad. I see. I know. You want to move into my basement. We've already discussed this today. Don't worry. Rent would be free. I'll take care of all the food and everything. All right, wait. Let's come back up here, guys, because we did not start at the beginning. We have Lord Raven, a.k.a. Lord Farquaad here. Here he goes. I love how he looks, guys, but I hate where the speaker placement is because you can just never hear him unless you hook him up to other speakers. And we have the inflatable gargoyle up here, too. Look at his eyes. I don't know if I realized his eyes light up or not. He's pretty dang cool. I think he's four, four and a half feet tall, something like that. All right, anyways, let's go on through the tunnel of the bubbles of death. 
We do have all four pillars of Bubbles of Death working. And look at this. We have a creepy crimson girl on a swing. Oh, do they have her set up? I guess not. See, in order to make her swing, you actually have to get the swinging mechanism. I was kind of hoping they had her hooked up. But look how creepy she looks. She reminds me of that one uh, music video by Sia. I think it's S-I-A. Speaking of, I see a Crouchy over here. Look at his hair. It's like a big nest. Excuse me, sir. Do you have birds in your hair? <laughs> I know. That was a pretty funny one. It actually looks like somebody gave him a haircut. Oh, my gosh. His hair looks so much shorter in the back. How cr He looks like Carrot Top, actually. I know, it just gets funnier the longer I talk. I'm that good of a comedian. All right, let's keep on moving here, guys. We got all these guys set up, but hold on. Let's look on the floor first and see what all they have for sale. We have two Reagans here. We have a whole pile of fogging skull piles. How appropriate. It's a pile of fogging skull piles. We have a Monty over here and another deadly creeper. And what's on the other side, guys? It's two giant sandworm groundbreakers. We have two tombstones of terror here and two nozzles over here. All right, we got Reagan here. Do we really have to listen to her face? I don't want to listen to your face. I don't want to listen to your mouth. I don't want to listen to your eyes. I just want to see your head spin. That's all. There you go. That's all the camera time you get, little Miss Evil. Oh, look at this. We have a brown jumping spider who identifies as a black and red jumping spider. Oh, he's ticking. He's a ticking spider. He doesn't jump. He ticks. Good job, Mr. Ticker. Is he playing with us? Or is he just gonna tick? I guess he's just gonna tick. We got Betty Sharp here too. Okay, I Betty, there we go. Ooh. Favorite, but I took care of she is super <laughs> loud. Good job for taking care of mommy's favorite. Wait a minute, isn't mommy's favorite one of those girls that went, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. We have both the blue tubes of bubbles of death working back here. We got Jumping Jack back here who Apparently he's in suspended animation, but I keep hearing him like yelling and going off. So I don't know. Anyways, we have, uh, I almost called him bag of bones. <laughs> we have skelly bones here. Come on, skelly. Come on. Come on, skelly. Come on. Come on, skelly. Give me what you got. There you go. Well, he only jumped a little bit. He jumped like a maximum of four inches. And then this guy back here, like I just said, just went off out of nowhere. And we got the lucky bottoms over here. Come on, lucky. Come on. There he goes. Lucky is the craziest laugher I've ever seen in my life. I guess I would be laughing maniacally too if I didn't have a butt. Wait a minute, is he also playing circus music? Somebody who has him, let me know. It sounds like he's playing circus music. I cannot believe I've never heard that before. And look who's over here still ticking. What the heck? All right, let's check out Nozzles here. Come on, Nozzy. Give me what you got. Give me what you got, Nozzy. <laughs> spooky. It looks so spooky if you come from behind the beam. There he is, hiding behind the beam. He must be playing the new game, Hide the Jalapeno. Spirit Halloween, if you're watching, take note. Next year, we want an official game, Hide the Jalapeno. <laughs> all right, let's head back to this little cove here, because they always have all kinds of awesomeness back here, including, hello, stack of rats. These are like the New York City rats, where if you went down into the tunnels, there's a billion of them in the sewer. Here's the live wires, the electrical death, like we see in the tunnel. Oh, we forgot to go through the tunnel. We'll go through it in a minute. But anyways, here's the live wires. They're 50 bucks a piece. That's a little bit pricey for me, actually. So I'm kind of hoping I can get some of these when everything goes on clearance, because I would love to have a handful of these to hang from my ceiling in the basement in my office. Oh my gosh, guys, look how many zombie babies they have here. Right beside the secret keeping cats and the creeping cats and the official hello rat. Maybe he has a scar because the secret keeping cats bit him. Is that what you did? Oh, I get it. It's a secret. Well, I'm not telling you what I had for dinner last night. What do you think of that? All right, guys, we have plenty of spider biter billies here. 
We have a couple of hand-eating Henry's. What's his name, actually? Snackin' Stevie's. We have five of these crawling guys and two burrito babies. And look, this burrito baby's head is smashed between these two. All right, let's see what kind of creepy dolls we have in here. We have the creepy cracked head baby doll, which I have not bought yet. We do have the pumpkin nester doll, which is actually one of the first ones, if not the first one that I bought this season. We have Rosalie which I also haven't bought yet. We have Hugs, in which whom, if I can show you his face, in which whom I bought yesterday, I believe. We got another pumpkin nester and another creepy baby doll. Here's the swinging mechanism I was talking about. If you wanted to make the creepy crimson girl actually swing, you could also use this with the swinging witch or the empty soul girl or I guess other swinging props as well. Here is the new animatronic activation switches and I'm not sure if I like that or not. The step pads seem like they don't always work the way that they should. This seems to work more often, but I like the step pads better. Which do you guys like better? Look how they have all the uh, the masks set up on the outside of the Tunnel of Death. Now hold on a second. Look at these guys. I know that I have seen the bull scarecrow mask. Hello. But I don't know if I've seen the pig or the rabbit or the burlap scarecrow mask. That, I don't think I've ever seen this one. How cool is that? Now, unlike the other ones, his mouth doesn't actually move, but the rabbit does, the pig does, and the bull does. I just heard children saying bad words over here. I don't condone it. I don't condone it. Now, wait a minute. We do have this scarecrow burlap mask, which is an animotion, which means that his jaw does move, unlike the other one. Let's bring it over here and just compare it for a minute. Which one do you guys like better? I think they both actually look pretty dang cool, except for the fact that his stitches are painted on, and his stitches are, I don't know, they're part of the mask, but they're still, I think, a little bit more realistic than this one. And look who we have here. It's Leatherface. We are in Texas, after all. If you are a small child and you have not seen the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I don't recommend it, but if you're an adult, Go for it, it's awesome. Especially part two with Chop Top. Let's take a quick peek back here and see if there are any masks back here that we have not seen before. And it doesn't look like it, even with all of these clown masks here. I think we have seen them all. Look at this neon clown. Hello. <laughs> all right, let's park this right over here for a second. Nobody touch it, nobody touch it. Because we have to go through the electrical tunnel of death, wow. It is silent in here right now, guys. You can hear me echoing. Hello, hello, hello. I see one wire swinging up here. Let's see if I can tiptoe. Oh, it got me. <laughs> the floor is buzzing, and now we are electrifying. Please don't electrify my face. All right, let's keep on moving here, guys. We have one good guy's Chucky doll over here and three sitting Sam dolls. That is kind of strange to see three of them and only one Chucky. We do have Chucky greeters over here and Sam greeters. We have Sam by a lamppost, the Sam snow globe that sparkles, the Sam statue that lights up. Oh, we have the ghost face bobblehead and the gremlins bobblehead, but I was really, really hoping to get the Leatherface bobblehead here in Texas. And unfortunately, I do not see it. What a bummer. I have one more spirit to go to here in Texas, and I'm hoping I find him there. They do have the ghost face inflatable, though. That's pretty cool. Wow, lots of hanging Sams and Sam plush up here. We've got Barbara and Adam and the five-foot Beetlejuice snake. Actually, there's two of those and the hanging ghost face. Oh, and we have Billy Butcherson's head down here. Why have I still not yet bought that? I don't know, but I don't think so today. That's right, not today, Satan. But we will buy him another day, probably. All right, and continuing our search for shrunken heads. Man, I, I, I cannot believe there are no shrunken heads in any stores this year, guys. Have you guys seen any shrunken heads? Excuse me, miss, you're slacking off. We need you to shrink some heads for us. Do I have to do everything around here? Oh, do the dishes, take out the trash, shrink some heads. Mmm, I could go for some peanut butter and jelly right now. Wait a minute, Haunted Mansion Door Knocker. Have we seen this?
It sounds like a bubbles of death. That was weird. I don't really get it. You're knocking on the door and it tells you to hurry back. I like the Squid Game stuff over here, but I'm kind of confused as to why they don't just sell these masks individually. Like, okay, hold on. Does it actually come... Okay, it does actually come with the suit, but you have to buy the red jumpsuit in order to get the mask, which I guess would make sense anyway, because if you bought the mask, you'd be going out to find a red jumpsuit somewhere. All right, wait a minute. Did we once again almost forget Monty? I'm sorry, sir. Show me what you got here. Come on now, Monty, come on. People told me that the step pad is the reason why he's so glitchy. I don't know if that's true or not. Anybody who owns him, let me know. There he goes. Kind of. <laughs> we love you anyway, Monty. Oh, cool, guys. Here's another store that actually has all three of the Nightmare Before Christmas masks. The trick-or-treaters, shock lock, and barrel. They also have the Scary Ted and Jack Skellington. So this is cool. This is one of the only stores that I've seen the Haunted Mansion magnet set. Look at how this guy's head is completely detached. That is actually pretty dang cool. Madame Leota with her one eye. I do love this doormat here. Welcome to Halloween Town. And we got Sally and Jack and Zero with his pumpkin nose and shock lock and barrel and Oogie Boogie on there. I know we've looked at the Zero mug before with the pumpkin nose, but have we looked at the Oogie Boogie mug? Now this is a green mug, which is strange because I've always thought that Oogie Boogie was green, but then we come in here and we see like the burlap colored Oogie Boogie dolls, which I don't see any of at the moment. Wait, unless I just miss them over here, because there's a whole other half of the store over here that I've only been in for a few minutes, and I haven't taken the moment, excuse me, sir, can you not scream at me? I haven't taken the moment to come over here and look at the plush yet, and I do not see any Oogie Boogies. I see Beetlejuice, I see Lydia, I see Barbara, I see Adam, I see the sandworm, and the spooky teddy. And I even see zero buried under here, but I do not see any oogie boogies at all. These are all lunch boxes and more mugs on this side. Hmm, wow, they are all completely sold out of oogie boogies. What is this, a giant pumpkin mug? Holy crap, it's a Sam pumpkin mug. Here is a green Oogie Boogie inflatable costume, though. That looks cool. All right, guys, let's take another walk over to this side of the store because I have to look at the Scream stuff because I love it so darn much. Yes, Michael, we'll look at you in just a second, but look at the awesomeness right before our eyes. Guys, I think they have almost every single mask here right now. They have the blue metallic, the purple metallic, they have the light up ghost face, they have the chrome ghost face, the regular ghost face, this one that I don't even care for, the viper face, but they do have it, and they have the red... <gasps> Holy crap, guys, they do have them all. Look, they have the glow-in-the-dark ghost face mask. Somebody was just talking about looking for this the other day. I've only seen these now in two stores. This is one of them. Excuse me, sir. You're coming home with me. Let's just compare these for a second, guys, because I want you to see the difference in these. Look at the slight color difference in the glow-in-the-dark in the pure white one. I love the way the glow-in-the-dark one looks. That looks more like the original one that was used in the movie, and the original ones all did glow-in-the-dark. Plus, strangely, they all used to smell like vanilla. It kind of does. <laughs> Yeah, we got a guy in here smelling things. Can you come pick him up, please? We got my favorite Nightmare 4 mask. And this is why you look closely at all the masks when you're going to buy them, guys, because they differ. Like, look at this one. It's kind of... It's kind of like a matte finish. It's not, it's kind of dull. And this one here is like a gloss. Look how shiny that one is compared to this one. Personally, I think I would go for the shiny one because that looks much better. Oh, I forgot. We promised Michael we would take a look at him. Okay, so we have the Halloween 1 mask here. We have the Halloween 2 hard mask. 
we have this is Halloween 2 right here. This really isn't too bad of a looking mask, except for that atrocious hairdo. And we have to go all the way to the back of the store where the masks are back here in order to see the Halloween Ends mask. But I love walking through the store because you get to look again at all the Halloween awesomeness. And there he is, Halloween Ends. Do we have Halloween 2018? No, I guess we don't. Oh my gosh, I think this is so hilarious when they do this. When the original tag comes off, they just put one on that says, Mask. <laughs> Mom, can I be masked for Halloween? All right, one more walk over here past all our little buddies and the secret keeping cats and the creeping cats and all of our bone buddies. Hello, Octabone. And let's head out. Ooh, there's the Isle of Bad Breath. Hold your nose. Hold your nose. All right, guys, that was an awesome store. Thank you so much for watching. If you come down here looking for stickers, I forgot to lay them out, but I did leave a stack at the cash register for them to give you guys some when you come in. So probably got to get down here quick because they go fast. Mm -hmm.